Hey, this is Kevin with Fulfilled Destiny. Just gonna have a little real talk right here. I have some things on my heart. You know, I just like to speak about, maybe could encourage somebody going through these type of situations and whatnot. And the thing I wanna talk about is, is basically dealing with disappointment, you know, especially in regards to people uh, you know, as far as just certain things go, you know, maybe somebody lets you down or, you know, it could be deeper. But like a main thing that comes to me is betrayal, you know, and uh, Jesus instantly comes to mind. You know, how do we deal with certain situations in life where it could be, you know, really devastating? You know, there's a lot of people that are, you know, married for years and years and then they end up getting divorced and, and they hate each other for the rest of their life. and so these two people that said that they loved each other, as an example, actually now completely hate each other. You know, and it's just crazy when you see situations like this and you see things like this, or it could be a business. You know, one business partner does the other one dirty and now they're suing each other and they're trying to take each other's money and, and everything else. So I, I just wanna talk about betrayal for a minute and uh, the importance of embracing Everything that is sent against us to destroy us, to allow God to use it to make us better and not bitter, you know. And the only way to deal with betrayal or anything in that in that realm is to forgive, is to love and to forgive. And uh, that's not always easy. Listen, you know, a lot of people talk, but... You know, when somebody does you wrong, you know, and stuff like that. Like, I know a brother, I listened to his music and whatnot, and his brother, his blood brother was murdered, and he loved his brother, you know, and, and he's, a, he's a Christian man, and, and he had a decision to make, you know, and, and you can't sit here and think that it was easy, you know, to forgive someone who took somebody that is so close to you, your best friend in the whole world, you know, somebody just took them from you. And that's a good example. But he chose to forgive because God so loved us and he forgave us. He chose to love and to forgive and to show mercy and to show grace. And listen, the best thing you can do if or when, because it will happen, when somebody betrays you or somebody does you dirty or grimy or slimy or, or shysters you or whatever, the best thing you can do is just love them, forgive them, and pray for them, even if you don't feel like it. Even if as you're praying, you don't feel it, just the act of you saying, say, God, I don't want to pray for them right now. I want to be unforgiving, but Lord, help me forgive them. And, and just release the love, release the love of God. And I just want to share that with you. You know, uh, don't get disappointed. Don't be discouraged, no matter how, you know, and sometimes we think, oh, the situation's so big. It's not bigger than God. Listen doesn't matter you know I mean I know people that have lost children you know it, it, it can't get much worse than that you know people who have actually been thrown in prison for their faith in other countries and spent years and years and all kinds of crazy stuff so just believe in God look to the cross look at Jesus look at what Jesus did how he dealt with betrayal and love and forgive people do not let unforgiveness get in your heart I mean it could be the grimiest dirtiest thing but just love them sincerely and forgive them and, and you will have freedom and you will have victory because you are sowing mercy, especially when you're done wrong for no reason. You're sowing mercy. You're doing what Jesus did. You're laying down your life. So I just hope that encourages you. I hope that blesses you. I'll talk to you soon.